Welcome hey. back to give me some of that fucking worm, dude. Hey, Taylor. Yeah. Why does that robot got tits on his head? <laughs> That's a good question, bro. Um, um, Is that a way that we can tell that robots are girls or boys? Yeah. We give them tits on their heads? Yeah. Welcome back to my ass. How do you feel about AI, Taylor? In what sense? And how it's been like progressing so rapidly lately? Mm. I think for certain things, it's great. What those things are, I don't know. But I know a lot of people have been using it for artwork and shit. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I think at first it was really cool. And then once everybody started using it, it immediately lost its appeal. Because, like, for me, um, if I look at, like, a band and, like, they're using AI art for their artwork, it just kind of shows a sign of laziness to me. Mm hmm And that it's not really coming up with anything original. I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, because the AI uh, is... Uh... It's pulling from a bunch of pre-existing stuff. Yes. Or like what it's learned and whatever, and like just kind of applying it to whatever script you give it. I think it's cool. I think it's I think it's kind of like um, similar to like that whole NFT thing where it's like I just don't think that it's reached like its potential yet. You know. Mm hmm. I think that's kind of what it is. I don't know. I just don't think that there's a um, a substitute for actual people doing artistic stuff. But maybe that's just because I'm biased. I don't know. How do you feel about people um, recreating voices of other people with AI? Um, in certain cases, it's pretty cool. Like, I know they did that with Val Kilmer and Top Gun. Mm -hmm. Like, that's pretty neat. I thought that was really cool because it's like, you know, he doesn't have the ability to speak anymore. Yeah, how do you feel about uh, dead people being brought back to life to continue to sing new songs? <laughs> to make more money? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't even know about that. You know, one thing I've been seeing lately that's been coming up on my YouTube is because uh, they got the shorts. Mm -hmm. They got the shorts now because they're trying to be like Tic Tac. Um, this, they've been, <laughs> there's this channel that's been popping up and the dude just does fucking deep fake videos. <laughs> So he, he takes, like, a movie clip and, like, just puts Arnold Schwarzenegger's face on, on it. <laughs> so there's, like, a scene of um, Jay and Silent Bob and Clerks 2 where they're standing outside the the restaurant or whatever. <laughs> and, and Jay is just Arnold Schwarzenegger's face. And then he dubs it over, so it's Arnold speaking. <laughs> and then Silent Bob is Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> And that's just the shit that I've been seeing, and I think that stuff is funny. 15 bucks, little <laughs> man, put that shit in my head. Yeah, the one that I've been seeing, like, doing controversy-wise, is, um... Yeah, taking old artists who have passed away, be it like, uh... In my case, it would be like Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Bringing him back to sing new songs. <clears throat> now, is that like at a concert or something? No. No, like, just actually, like, producing new albums with... Oh, oh, I see. It'd be like, um... Yeah, I don't know if I agree with like that. It'd be like Frank Zappa's, uh... Yeah. Children using AI to yeah, make his father voice. continue to make songs for him, right. for them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I if I agree with that. I, yeah, I don't like that, personally. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of strong opinions on that stuff, just because I don't... You're not in it. I'm not in it. I don't really pay attention to it. I think that, um, broadly speaking, again, I think that AI has, like, uh, <coughs> bless you. Thank you. Has, um, uh, untapped potential that we have yet to really see it applied in a, in a good way. Um, I think, yeah, a lot of people have used it for silly reasons, such as, like, the deep fake stuff. And I don't even know if that's AI necessarily, but. There it is. But like, you know. uh, it's, it's a combination. Yeah. Um, have you seen uh, 
uh, President Trump, President Biden, and President Obama all play uh, Call of Duty together. Oh, I think I saw that video come up, but I didn't watch it, yeah. I haven't either, because it sounds stupid. It does sound stupid. That's what I'm saying. Like, like for meme shit, like, it seems like a lot of people, I mean, naturally, I guess it's the internet, a after all. But yeah, like, for memeing, it's great, but... Yeah, for I think for practical purposes, I just think there has yet to be like a um, an actual like good implementation of it that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I just think like especially like with the artwork stuff, I think that like it's cool, like it's cool, but I just don't think I don't think it's a replacement for getting somebody to actually like do the work. Like, I don't think that an AI is ever going to be able to replicate, you know, the creativity of what a human could do. I mean, maybe over enough, a long enough period of time, who fucking knows, but... I know right now, like, uh, <clears throat> there's been many controversies with uh, people showing up to art contests. Yeah. With, oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, AI art, like, just happened again in Germany uh, like a national art thingy <clears throat> yeah but that's the thing it was like I think they need to and it broaden... won and the guy's like I don't accept the uh, the offer uh, yeah the award because this is an AI art yeah yeah I don't know I think in certain in certain cases can be like very dangerous because I remember seeing like photos that like I, at first glance look like real things but mm -hmm. then like the further you look into it you're like okay never mind that's not fucking real but yeah, I did see. I saw headlines of that, and I'm like, you know, um, I don't know. I think it just proves the point. It's like I don't know if you want to do AI shit, like you can, but like broaden the category, <laughs> like make it an AI assisted category. Yeah. Another thing that people have been uh, dealing with with this new AI thing is um, <clears throat> they are opening up OnlyFans accounts. Oh, yeah? Where they basically have this AI-generated art person, mm -hmm. and they keep whatever the customer is asking for. Um, Moments of it? Yeah, they will just, you know, okay, take this person that I have, you know, programmed in um, to now have a bunny suit or something like that, whatever yeah. that person asks for. Right. And the whole time, people will believe it's a person, because the only thing that's actually a person is the person uh, chatting with them. Yeah. So we're getting into a weird time. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, in the context of art stuff, I obviously am... I mean, I'm sure a lot of people feel this way, but I'm obviously a little bit biased as well. And that it, t it just, like, you know, you people run the risk of having it, like, you know, detract from, like, actual artists who could use the work. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, like, and that's just kind of it, is, like, I, I remember the first couple of times I saw the AI art, I'm like, that's fucking sick. But then, like, after you see it a couple of times, like, like, okay. the, like it, it, again, maybe it needs to, like, learn more. I think it has even, like, you know, within the couple of months that it's become a thing, like, gotten better. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, you can spot, like, AI art sometimes, like, right away. <laughs> yeah. And like I say, for me, like, if I see, like, a band that used it, like, if you're using it for, like, a demo or something like that, fine. But, like, if you're using that shit for, like, a final release, like, that's fucking lazy as shit, in mm -hmm. my opinion. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I feel about some of that. Yeah, I don't know. So they've gotten into that too with music. Like you can uh, do AI mastering, mm -hmm. which um, is never like, a good idea, just because it's like I don't know. You gotta. Um, it's not really catering it to whatever you want the song to be. It's kind of just running it through an algorithm, probably, and trying to get it at a <coughs> level or like a volume that you'd want it at or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I wonder if some point it's going to be. Mm. AI made music. I think I think I saw a headline about that too, but I don't know. Maybe it was a troll. Like maybe it was just like a fake article. But I thought like 
like, I think there was somebody that said like an AI did like a version of like a rat or like a Drake song or something like that. Like I don't know, people like, couldn't tell if it was real or not. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's true. Is that true? Yep. I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't look into it far enough to to determine whether or not it was real or fake. I just saw that. Yeah. But but something like that, I think rap. And like maybe certain pop songs are so formulaic that it wouldn't be hard for an AI to figure it out. You know, obviously, again, if you want something with like more artistic integrity and creativity, you're not going to get that from an AI. But um, yeah, I can see you know someone in the future. It's probably going to be. Wasn't that like I feel like they did that with like that one fucking. they made like a character or like a it was almost like a vocaloid but it was like yeah a, Hatsune Miku yeah it was like Hatsune Miku but it was like a black guy with like a fucking like it looked like a fucking Overwatch character is what he looked like I don't remember his name yeah I don't know but that was like the first like <laughs> digital rapper that they were trying to market I forgot who was doing it if it was like Amazon or some shit or whatever it was but yeah I feel like at some point it's gonna be AI generated uh, person with yeah, an AI already, generated voice. They've already done it, dude. <laughs> it's already happened. AI generated music that's going to be engineered by an AI. Already happened. And yeah, it's just, it's all going to be like common. Yeah. Well, I mean, for something that, like, because those companies all just want to fucking make money. Mm-hmm. So for something like that, I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if, that, if something like that does make money. I don't know. We want to make money with the least amount of money yeah, spent. <laughs> and if they can get all that by purchasing a couple of AI tools oh, yeah. and then just have one person sit there um, you know, getting it to a certain point you know, then it's far cheaper than yeah. actually finding talent and Oh, yeah, because at that point, you don't even have to pay the person. It's just a fucking computer program. You know, we're on the precipice of, uh, like, a weird paradise slash dystopia. Yeah, right. Could be either. I don't know. I think, uh... The more we fuck with robots, the worse it is. <laughs> robots should be confined to like a assembly line or something. <laughs> that's what I think. Do you think we're gonna get to the Geth? Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to get to Geth. I don't want to get to iRobot. I don't want to get to any of that. Like self awareness or like like sentience. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-hmm. Can't have that. There's been enough sci-fi stuff written in this world that we should know better. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's just, you know, we're finally getting to that point. I think so long as, like, everyday society is not automated by an AI program, I think we should be okay. But, I don't know. You think they're going to be a Detroit become human? That's what I mean. Like, don't do that. (laughs) Tits on my head, but don't call me a tit head. Well, I mean, I guess you can. Because KT. No, I think I'm going to call you Katie. I thought I thought Katie would have made more sense, but. Yeah, you know, because it's KT. Yeah. Mm. Why Kit? Yeah. Well, Kit's her favorite, so whatever. Nope. She's a woman who doesn't get to decide. It's also around her tit, which is what she has on her head. (laughs) Fuck the archives. Alright, bye. I like that she's yellow, though. I like that. I think the color scheme is good. She's like a little bumblebee. What does a clink do that, huh? He does that. No, he doesn't. I think he did it in the first game. 
Yeah, but like he doesn't do it anymore. For, yeah, I think he did it in the first game. Maybe I don't know. He is a warbot after all. If there is personal servant robots, would you allow the personal servant robot to have a gun? No. <laughs> oh, built in. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's just asking for fucking trouble, dude. Because then at some point it's not going to be able to discern friend from foe. <laughs> it's going to come up with some arbitrary reason to like shoot like an old lady or something. It's like, oh, she said something racist. She must die. <laughs> well, what if the program of, you know, they are not allowed to hurt humans unless um, it is like to uh, basically uh, stop your stop your owner from being hurt. Hmm. Or you could put it in there, but it's a failsafe word. So if you ever... <laughs> But then you still have to be like, whiskey killed a guy. Yeah, right. Also, you're very short. Go back right, home, bitch. Home. You want, bitch? What happens? Anytime. Now, let's get the Who's your husband? Who it is? Actually, we gotta go to uh, Blizzard Prime now, I think. <gasps> Blizzard Prime. That's my favorite world. Uh, I like the Drill Hound. Sure, we'll do the topiary sprinkler too. Why not? Drill hound taking it to pound town. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I don't know how I. Uh, I think the less robots, the better. That's for me. See, I'm all in robotics. That's my whole job. I know. I'm but gonna I mean, bring the. <laughs> But I just mean like in that capacity of like automating life. I just don't think that's a good good call. <laughs> How do you feel about universal basic income? You mean communism? <laughs> like everyone's, you know, paid a flat rate. Oh, I don't know. Why are you asking me this for this game? <laughs> uh, because it's technology. Normally we just talk about fucking. Yeah, well I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about <laughs> big things. Oh, I gotta go help Trudy. Right. Trudy with the booty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, universal basic income. Like, at some point, we'll get so advanced with our robotics, humans won't be needed for most things. So, instead of letting all of us die in squalor, might as well just pay us all to just kind of... Stay home. Stay home and <laughs> maybe be creative or... Yeah, so then we wouldn't have the AI programs doing all the uh, to all the artwork. Yeah. Yeah. So you think that's good or bad? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it would be good. I don't know. I don't know yet either. I think people would be, like, less stressed and, like, upset about the world. Yeah. But that would imply that, like, the powers that be actually have some sort of, like, compassion or care for people. Yeah. Other than themselves. <laughs> but I feel like if you didn't pay anyone anything and then just had them, you know, live in squalor, people would then rise up and. Oh, yeah. You know, well, eat the rich. Yeah. Well, so we it would be to better to pacify. We with, need to eat the rich anyway. Yeah. Until I'm rich and then don't eat me. Or, <laughs> or better yet, just make them pay taxes. <laughs> If you just made them pay taxes, I think it, like people would be a little less upset over that. 
Yeah, and there weren't so many loopholes that you can just get out of. Oh, I know, but that's the, but the reason taxes. but the reason they can is because they're rich. <laughs> so it's a fucking feedback loop. Like you can't solve that problem unless they're not rich. Yeah, which is not going to happen because they're not paying taxes. No. <laughs> so we're at an impasse. Really, we need to eat the politicians and the rich. Then, yeah, yeah. That way. Not, like, that's not a very novel thought. Like, everybody's fucking had that thought at one point. <laughs> we just need to eat everyone, Taylor. Become a cannibalistic I so. society. I think so, man. I think you're right. It's the only way. Oh, shit. I had the wrong weapon out. Drill hound. So, so this one's supposed to go on the ground, and then it pops up and kills them. But it's not. Cause... But you can all yeah. But if you're far, if you're close enough, you can just shoot them directly with it. Okay. Eat the rich. You know one thing. Um, Melissa and I have been watching this show um, called the uh, what the fuck is it called? The Royal Gemstones. Okay. And um, I think Danny McBride wrote it. It's like a comedy kind of drama sort of thing. Um, and it's like. You know, it's about this family called the Gemstones, and they're like those big, like mega church owning people. Mm, and it's love just, those people. Yeah, and it's just like it annoys me, like you know, because in the context of the show, like obviously, like you know, they're the people that like will take all these donations and they run it through, like you know, they got like this giant vault of money and shit. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, the annoying part of that is like there's a there's a <coughs> kernel of truth in it. Like obviously, it's probably oh, yeah. amplified for the sake of the show. But, like, there's a kernel of truth in that whole scenario. 100%. <laughs> like, and that's the annoying thing. Is, like, you know, I feel like, you know, if you tax the rich and also... This is probably, the like... Religious. Yeah, like, a lot of people would be upset with me saying it, but it's the fucking truth, is that if, yeah. you, if you taxed... Um, Religion wasn't tax-exempt. Yeah, if it wasn't tax-exempt, like, so many issues in this country could be fucking addressed, like, no problem. <laughs> but that's not the world we live in, unfortunately. No. Like, I'm all for religious freedom. Like, you should have the right to go to church and do what you want with it. But, like, at the same time, for as much as, especially the United States wants to have, like, you know, Christian laws and Christian beliefs kind of dictating a lot of things, you should probably fucking tax that shit, too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, just for the sake there's of... There's many of those mega church people. Oh, yeah. Who are, like... like the uh, the Lord wants you to get me another private jet. Yeah, right. Exactly. So please donate all your money. Yeah. That's what we need AI for. AI to, to tax people. <laughs> tax the right people. Oh, maybe we get some, some proper gun laws. You know what I mean? Yeah, proper gun laws would be nice. That way we could shoot everyone all the time. That way we could just shoot the people that we disagree with. Yeah. I mean, that's already happening all the time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we got to get all these fucking zerps to... I mean, I don't have to, but I'm going to... You're going to... That makes you your dragon feel good. So here's the thing that's annoying with this, is they don't tell you it until, like, after the fact, but, like, there's, um... Uh, you get this ability to make this fucking dragon thing shoot um, shots out of its face. Mm -hmm. Come on, I meant to fucking hop off. What are you doing? But you have to get so many zerp stones before <laughs> you get that ability, but the game doesn't tell you that. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so you're getting them so that you can actually shoot. Yeah, because some of the zerp stones you need to be able to shoot with the dragon thing, and they just don't tell you that. Nah. Well, every dra and like every ratchet game has had a level like this, like since number two, where like you have to cr like traverse the entire environment and like and collect collect stuff. Or, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I like it, but it's certainly filler stuff. Mm -hmm. This game in particular, I like. Don't get me wrong, I like this game a lot, but it definitely feels like um, they were just trying to kind of figure out how. To develop for um, the, PS the PS5, yeah, 
I like kind of seeing what their capabilities were because uh, they they cut out like a decent amount. I, I shouldn't say they cut out a lot of features, but it's just that like you know usual kind of staples of the series aren't in it. So like um, you know usually there's like a racing level or like a ship level or something, mm -hmm. and they don't have anything like that in this one. Yeah, no, you just you just run around and do the you're just, collecting and yeah. whatnot. Which is fine. I'm fine with it, but... It's very Ubisoft. Not really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's a Ubisoft thing. Yeah. Any Anything that I can do to uh, compare it to hate Ubisoft. on Ubisoft. <laughs> like, you're not wrong in doing that. <laughs> they deserve it. They do deserve it. Got I that think boat. so. You got that boat. And the gra that's great because you don't have to fucking... Do the stupid uh, animation. Yeah. So, Billy. Oh. Are you going to get the new Zelda game? <laughs> <laughs> I know some people have been, like, really, like, again, kind of going ape. Like, they're hyping for it. Yeah, they're, they're hyping it up and whatever. And I'm like, the game looks exactly like the old one. <laughs> Just fucking rubbing their nipples. Yeah. Being like, oh, yeah. And it'll get tens. It'll get tens. Yeah. And then some people will give it a, a seven or lower, or slightly lower than the ten, and then people will go fucking mad. I know. They will. And then there'll be also the people that are just sick of them and give it a zero. Yeah. You know, the thing of it is, too, for me, um, and I've gone through, not like... Rel like really recently, but like you know, with some of those games, like I've bought a couple of those games, like the the Zelda. Like obviously, when I got the Switch, that's like you know a big game I wanted to get because it's Zelda. Like it's a solid game. Like you know, you're gonna get like at least a, a relatively fun experience out of it. You know, and that's exactly what I got with Breath of the Wild. Like it's fine. It's just not ten out of ten worthy. Yeah. Um. But same thing with like you know Red Dead Redemption. Like I picked it up on a deep sale. And I kind of got to experience it outside of all the hype. And I'm like, the game is good. It ain't that good, though. I don't think. But I don't know. <laughs> I try to give like a lot of leeway for companies because like making games is fucking hard. And, yeah. Like, you can obviously tell that a, a company like Rockstar puts a lot of effort and time into their games. Like, it yes. definitely shows. But that doesn't... Just because the horses have balls in it and you can, like, you know... I don't know, see a gator eat a man randomly, like, doesn't mean that the game is fucking 10 out of 10 perfect. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> people people get too gaga over the newest thing when I it know. comes out. I know. And then there's also the opposite of some people get so pissy yeah. at, the new, at the newest thing that comes out. So it's, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah. The human emotions are never in the middle anymore. Yeah, it's one, of the, one way or the other. We, we only live for the extremes nowadays. Yeah. See, I don't like... Um, I don't ever feel like I hate it, but I, I, I generally feel like I just hate hearing about it because I'm like, I'm sure when I play the game, I am not going to feel the way that they feel. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can guarantee that, you know? I always feel much better about a game when I don't look at it. Oh, yeah, no, I do too. playing it. Oh, I do too, like 100%, but I'm just saying it's like, you know... Like, I just don't see what, I guess, everybody else sees in it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I played I played Red Dead for, like, about 60 hours, and I'm like, that was enough for me. I'm like, I'm good. Like, I don't need to really... I don't feel compelled to complete this game all the way. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> like, so the way I see it is... I'm sure if I played the game, I would probably have a good time. Up until a certain point, and then I'd just be like, oh, yeah. "Meh, I'm done." Yeah, no, that's and that well, that's exactly what I was like. I liked it up to a certain point. And I'm like, okay, like I'm kind of bored of this. <laughs> it's definitely not a game that I would get more than sixty hours in. Yeah, that I is a game that I would. I think that's about how much I got out of it anyway. I don't know. Like, there's some games you know I have a thousand hours in. Oh yeah. And those are games that I really liked, bought one time, great. 
And other games, I played it for like 10, 15 hours or less. And I'm like, sometimes it was worth it. Sometimes it wasn't. Yeah. Like I played Metal Gear Solid 5 for, I think, Ugh. I think I have it for eight hours, maybe six hours. And I'm like, this game is trash, and I hate it, so I'm done playing it. And that's and that's another thing. That's a really like, I don't. I think that's a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like, it's I'm there trash. With you. It's I'm, nothing I'm, like what I want. I'm there. I'm there with you though. No, I'm there with you 100 percent with that game. Like, I don't know. It just like, yeah, I don't know. There, it, there, there's a hole left with like everything that I ever wanted that game to be and then it's like <laughs> it's not in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just not a good um metal gear experience, I no. think is really what it boils down to. Like it the story is absolutely subpar. Yeah. And that is the thing I go to. Yeah, that's the thing you want out of a out of a metal gear game is a good story. Yeah. Like I'm there, it's I don't care if it's crazy I don't care if it's anything, you know, I just want to have fun with it. And, like, sure, the mechanics of the game are, you know, good, but, yeah. like, everything else fell. And I have no care about it. Well, even the mechanics, like, I feel like what made the game great initially, to me, or what makes the gameplay compelling in, in a game like Metal Gear Solid, is that you have limitations to what's possible. And yeah. it's through those limitations that, like, kind of allow you to be creative with how you approach um, certain situations and, like, how you approach, like, you know, handling enemies or stealth or whatever. Because mm -hmm. when all of a sudden you're given, like, a thousand options, it's just kind of, like, so many, many elements of the game, like, are now distractions, you know? So, like, um, I don't know. My thing was always I hated the resource management shit because it's, like... That again, that distracts from your main objective. Like all of a sudden, like you're trying to sneak into this compound, but then you're like, oh well, there's a uh, a shipping container over there that I need to get, and it's like, yeah, I hate it. But the you fucking distraction. Don't. I know, but it's like it's such a like it's on one hand it's a major part of the game, and on another hand it's like not at all, and it, and it's a weird like like half baked sort of territory where it's like it's you can either make it really important if you want it to be, or you can completely ignore it. And, you know. But then you're low on stuff all the time. Yeah, I don't know. See, it's a, that's a fucking mess. I don't know. Like, I hate it going up to a mission being like, okay, I'm going to go do this, all that. And then it's just like, here's a shipping container. Put a, a fucking thing on it. And then I go. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, well, let me look at all these guys first. See who I can fucking kill, who I'll just trank out and take. Yeah, right. And I'm that's like, I'm saying, yeah, like fuck it, these guys. It's I don't too, want them. Yeah, it's too micromanagey. That's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, I just want to fucking sneak around and, like, and like you know, be stealthy and sneak. I don't want to yeah, have to do fucking... do the mission. Yeah, I want to just do the mission. Like, I don't want to have to, like, see who I got to Fulton out of this and, like, which resources I need to pick up. Like, that's the shit that I fucking hated. It's like, yeah. I yeah, because then I feel like, oh, shit. I killed a guy who was really good in the thing that I needed. Now I feel like I should just restart. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know. And so I can Fulton out this bastard. It's just, it's not fun. Oh, 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 okay. oh, 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 It's not fun. It's not... Yeah. I'm there with you. It's not a good game. I'm there with you. I don't really, I don't really like it either. Next time in Chinstar, you have to piss and moan some more. You can lick my tank.